Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, we're going to do another rapid game, 10 plus 5. We have the black pieces, and we're going to play Andre 75. It's rated 1820, we are rated 1822. We are going to play the Dutch. And he pre-moves the second move. Very bold. What if I played something silly like that? Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Nice start here. Okay. Both sides playing pretty standard. Okay, a couple ideas here. I could try and hit the queen with the knight. So this queen kind of x-rays this strong diagonal later. So a lot of people play like a5 and then see if they can bring the knight in here. But most people usually respond by playing a3 and then it's like, where do you put the knight? Something else to consider is white has not finketoed. And usually if white doesn't finketo, black wants to finketo. So... I'm honestly wondering if I should lead with this and then play for a5. I think we're going to. Okay, he just opens the position right away. Takes, nope. Takes, 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 takes. It's a pretty ambitious move. This allows me to clear the e-file. So I will accept. Okay. Captures, 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 or with the queen. I think in this position I will think keto. Threatening to win a piece. I think he'll capture here. Or play something a little more passive. I always have this sneaky move um, coming out. Okay, let's recapture. Interesting. Okay, I think we want to go for something like this. Because then we can target both of these pieces. With the queen, right? It looks the most natural. He does have this. I don't see any alternative. I think, yeah, I just gotta slide over and secede. <clears throat> don't really want I could have run that way, but it did not look that great. Captures, 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 captures. Opens this file. Okay, we're threatening to go both here and here. Taking here and winning the pawn, I think is best. 
winning my pawn back. It's a nice little pawn grab he made. Okay, so this is this is good. This was good because it hit it hit this square and this square. But the knight can easily be kicked from that position. Taking here would force an exchange. But I think I'm happy because my queen is is hitting two pawns, as well as it has an incoming check. As well as the bishop's under fire. Hold on, but my bishop's hanging. So takes, takes. I'd have to do takes, takes. Yeah. He's actually fine there, I believe. Okay, now this is interesting. Do I jump here right away? Do I consider taking? Take and then slide over, pinning him? Here hits the queen. Where's the best place for the queen to go? Let's think, where would I go? Maybe right there? No, because then the queen's getting in. He's got to stay on this diagonal. Perhaps there. Captures, captures. Now I get a rook sliding over. Yeah, it looks very promising for me. So this is kind of a unique position. White White played an early e4, which I don't play against a lot. Okay, plan was takes, takes, and then pin. Right? Pin and then step up and attack with the queen. Okay, let's do my plan. Okay, we will pin. Very nice move. Castling's illegal because you just take this piece. Could be sneaky there. Nothing that nothing going though. <clears throat> okay, this looks really good. Plenty of time for both sides, so I imagine he'll sit here and think for a while. I would. Don't really see how to save this piece. Something like this gives this up. Castles. I mean... Yeah, this is brutal. This doesn't work because of this. You can't take because then you win the queen. Brutal. The pin. The bishop's misplaced. This was a greedy move. Excuse me. This move right here. Why is my... Okay, there we go. So I like taking the pawn. It opens the king up a little bit. But I think this was greedy. This tension here was no good. I was able to take advantage of the fact that the king and the bishop are on the same diagonal. I think better was to come back to d3. And that's why I had this knight maneuver. Okay, he just castles and gives me a free bishop. Right? Am I missing anything? Okay, we take those. Okay, that is a maneuver. Am I just capturing this pawn now? I think so, I think I'm capturing the pawn because everything's defended and I'm preparing to double up. 
just up a clean piece. Okay, I'd like to get rid of his knight. Knights are queen killers. I think this move was a waste. The knight, the knight was on a nice square, but wanted to move anyways. Okay, that doesn't threaten anything. He's not going to take my knight with his queen. <laughs> so I think a more valuable move would be to double up. So I would play that move. It might be nice to slide the queen over so that I'm threatening mate here. I'll have some tactics. Okay, black's better here. My king is relatively safe for the time being. I don't think I can afford to really give up any of these pawns. I might look for a move like c5 and d6. Just putting all my pawns on dark squares, letting the light square bishop kind of hide behind them. Also making b6 the target because b6 is, is hard to get at. Okay, interesting move. What if we just play g4 and attack the king? Ooh. No. Capture, 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 capture. Would almost be mate. Would almost be mate. Check and takes. Check and takes winning the queen. Hold on, I think we have a, I think we have a tactic to win the queen takes if queen takes check he has to take and I win his queen pretty fancy pretty darn fancy I expect him to resign Okay. Onward. Yeah. Not too big a deal. Here. Hitting his hitting his rook, right? Seems very good. I mean this seems completely unplayable. Looking for a check. Honestly, should be very good for me though. Okay, we're, we're winning a lot. Let's make sure we can't get mated. Check, check. Yeah, we are fine. Let's just grab the pawn. Heck, I could even duck down. There's no threat of getting mated here. The knight covers e8. E so, pretty convincing. That was a nice little tactic. Let's go over that. So this tactic revolves around the idea of... This piece looks like it's adequately defended. But... Yeah, and you just think, oh, it takes, takes, right? But you have to look for checks, right? By playing this check, I remove the defender of the queen, winning the queen. It's a very nice, very nice play. 
Okay. Pretty standard move. Let me probably push my pawns and win. Oh, you know what we could do to be really dirty? We could play something like that. I don't know what the cleanest way to do this is. I'm sure it's it's to push my pawns. So that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to push. Push, push, push. Here and here, maybe? I'll probably here first, and then only here. Okay. This defends everything. It's a slow move. Taking is just mate. There's also a blunder. We should be able to push this to victory. Okay, It'll be very subtle. Line up a mate threat. Okay, but we can continue to push. Still mate. Oh, that's checkmate. Very good game, though. I will say good game in the chat to Mr. Andre. Uh, I think this was quite instructive. Uh, it was just kind of maneuvering in the middle game, and we had a nice little tactic here. I don't feel like I was in it as educational as normal. It's been a long week. Uh, I had a bunch of hard exams this week, but the chest was really clean. Uh, let's go ahead and look. Okay, so three inaccuracies. Okay, it just thinks the Dutch is an inaccuracy. Yeah, okay, so this is a good teaching point. Although I found this move helpful earlier. The reason I played this move so is that so is that when I put my knight on b4, was that he was defended. They're saying that you maybe lose some time here. It's better just to advance earlier cuz then you can always hit the queen and then when he's attacked, you can defend later. So, this was kind of a just a little jumping the gun, like thinking maybe a little too far ahead. One, two, my third inaccuracy. This pawn push seems scary to me. What if he takes? Let's look at what the engine says. I take. No, oh, it's just a little better. I don't really like opening the middle. I liked this a lot. Oh, that's where he needs to go. That's really hard to see for a, a human player, though. Yeah, I looked at this. This looked no good. I would have played this first. You should capture first, and then you pin him. Yeah, so this pin, yeah, no good. This is a good move right here from black. And then, yeah, it was pretty easy to punish yeah and then once the bishop fell he had no chance yeah this is a bad move uh, the knight was willing to move anyways here it says just try and force a queen trade but you're down a piece yeah it's completely crushing for black ooh it doesn't see my what does it think's better than this what's the threat Oh, you're just setting up mate in one? Oh, it's a forced mate. Yeah, because as soon as you invoke g3, the light skirts are super weak. So the queen can just infiltrate. There's nothing white can even really do about it. But then the queen can just go this way and mate you this way. 
Sorry, I did all that in my head. Let's try and explain. So the reason behind this move is if white plays something stupid, right? Sorry. I guess it still has the same idea of me because capturing is no good. It just like it, it just moves it it advances the knight to a more effective square than where it is. So it sees this tactic, but it's like, okay, I see the tactic, but I'm going to improve my knight first, and then whatever move you make. Yeah, br this is brutal. Whatever move you make, I'm still going to take advantage of this tactic. Yeah, this is terrible for white. I honestly think this was a... Yeah, it recommends this is the computer move, but I don't recommend this. I think playing back to here would have been better. I guess it does give me this, and I'm opening up. But then you slide over, and it's like, well, this is difficult to play. Because it's not that hard to get a queen on this diagonal. Castle long, maybe play something like this I don't know I didn't I didn't want to do this I saw this idea but hey he, he, he blocked it right yeah tough position for white this looks really good to take the pawn but it's pretty greedy and my pieces had a lot of activity afterwards and once I hit the queen and got her out of position took advantage of a pin took a free piece took a free pawn Found a nice tactic, one is queen, and then this is game over. This is just sledding. Yeah, there's nothing to be done here. Yep, pretty big blunder, mating one. Yeah, even with good play, I mean, it can't move because it's still mate. Yeah, it's like, what do you even do? There's no way to prevent me from cleaning. Now I'm getting one of your rooks off the board. The queen's just too powerful for two rooks, especially with two minor pieces, especially a bishop that has long scope. Okay, guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I found this a pretty instructional game. Uh, my new high now is 1830. Like I said, I just got to keep grinding. I think I can make it to 2000. Uh... As long as I don't blunder, right? I feel like I have a really good... I have a keen eye for tactics. My positioning is pretty good. My openings are all right. Sometimes I get caught out, but that's chess, right? So if you guys uh, saw anything, go ahead and post that below in the comments. But be sure to like and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. And I honestly don't post that often. So it's not like I'm blowing up your YouTube feed. So it helps me out. Uh, gives me incentive to keep making instructional videos like that like this so i hope you enjoyed it and i'm going to stop here and we'll catch you guys in the next one thanks